My name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to explain to you the concept of decision theory in machine learning. Decision theory in machine learning is one of the three fundamental theories of machine learning that I've discussed, and the first one is probability theory, information theory, and then decision theory. So basically what we are saying is that you need to make a decision using data. So if you have data sets, based on that data set, you will make a decision. So let's quickly go ahead to use an illustration or to I'll use machine learning notation to explain it in a, in a very easy way. So let's take, for instance, doctors in a, in a hospital want to decide whether, patients, whether a patient has cancer or not. So we want to decide, let me take another color of pen, if a patient has cancer. So the procedure is this way. If a patient comes into the health center, into the hospital, there are two pieces of information that are going to be used. The one is available information, already available information. I'm going to explain it. Available information. And the next, uh, the next data that's going to be used is new information or data as you would like to put it in any way. So this available information is information already existing about the patient. For instance, let's say 90% of patients have cancer. So now if in this hospital that 90% of the time patients that are checked for cancer actually have cancer, this is available information. So these are information that we already have even before this new patient, this new patient walks into the hospital. Okay, so this information that we already have. Now new information is an information that you now get after testing this patient. So this one, you get it after after performing a test, a test. All right, so now this information we are talking about, they are in terms of probability. So in this case, we have 0 0.9 probability that the, info, that the person has cancer, right? So let's now represent it in real machine learning terms. Let's start to the first one, the available information. So this available information, let's take for instance, uh, we have two, two classes that the patient can either belong. C1, there is cancer or cancer presence, and C2, cancer absence. So let's have these two classes. So the, the decision is to assign the patient into one of these two classes. So the available information is the probability that the patients have cancer, P of C1. And that is already available, okay? So we can actually say uh, P, of, P of CK for K equal to 1 or 2, okay? Fine. So the test that is performed on this patient might be an X-ray, and the result of this X-ray might be an, an image that contains uh, pixels of this patient. So let's say we have X be set of pixel from X-ray. So this X now is a new information. So we also need to use it. So we're actually going to calculate probability that the patient have cancer, P of C1, given X, right? So now in this case, we have probability that the patient have cancer even before he comes in. We have probability that the patient have cancer now after we've performed an X-ray an X-ray procedure. Now this is called 
Uh, this is called prior probability. Take notes, and this is called posterior probability. So given the prior and the posterior probability, you can now, the, the, the physicians can now make a decision. So one thing you need to know is that how do we calculate the posterior probability? And that is where Bayes' theorem comes into place. I'm going to state it here. So Bayes' theory helps you to calculate the posterior probability. And it gives is giving us P of CK given X is equal to P of X given CK times P of X times P of CK, sorry, times P of CK divided by P of X. So what you can figure out from here is that the probability of CK given X, this posterior probability that we mentioned, is equal to this function and times the prior. So probability, uh, the posterior probability is proportional to the prior probability, as you can see. Now, what is this term here? This term is called the likelihood. P of X given CK is called the likelihood. So in decision in a decision theory, we have we'll have to try to maximize this quantity, maximize it, and also find the posterior probability. So these operations carried out will help us make a decision whether the patient has cancer or not, or whether the patient belongs to uh, C1 or C2. So now I believe this might be a little confusing. So if that is the case, uh, I would like to recommend take some time to to look at the description box, you'll find link to clearer explanation of decision theory, uh, and then you can follow it where I actually explain it in my website very much clearer than it is now. But the key thing I wanted to take home is we have the posterior probability and the prior probability. These two quantities will help us make a decision, and this we can do by maximizing the likelihood. I'd like to thank you for viewing and also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel.